All right. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on inverse cosine. I think it's a little bit easier than inverse sine just because inverse sine, we're looking for that y value. So a lot of times I might have my first angle up here and I got to use some math uh, or this symmetry to find the second angle, uh, which we said was always pi minus the first. But something interesting happens with cosine. So I still want to get my cosine alone, so I'm going to divide by 2. So I get the cosine of x equals negative 1 half. I'm going to take the inverse cosine of both sides, which we say this is still a loaded question. Cosine or inverse cosine of negative one half, there's infinite answers still. There's a lot of places or a lot of angles that will have an x direction now of negative one half. So I go to my unit circle, and why I said this one's a little bit easier is I'm just going to look for angles that have an x direction of negative one half right here. So pretty much that's my, maybe a little further to the right, right there. So this angle right here that rotates from where we always start around the circle, that angle produces an x value of negative one half. Now, what's really, really nice is this is still one of our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Here's my 60, my 30 up here. Um, if I want to go in radians, this is 2 pi over 3. 120 degrees, uh, 2 pi over 3. Now, just like we have with inverse sine, if I go around a circle again, a period distance away, I'm going to land in that same spot. Now, there is a second place you know, on the function. Uh, if we looked at the graph, there's two places it could be, but look where that other one is, right there, which is a lot easier if I just go this way because it's going to be the same angle or same size, same measurement as that one, but just negative. It's going clockwise. So really what the only difference is, is I have a negative 2 pi over 3 angle as well. So to generalize with inverse cosine, you just... I have to take the plus or minus. Whenever you find that first angle, you just do plus or minus, and that'll find the second angle for you. Now, if there's a different period, we, we still deal with that. Um, if I had, for example, cosine of 3x equals negative 1 half, I'd still take the inverse cosine. I'd get 3x equals plus or minus 2 pi over 3. So plus 2 pi n, and then I just divide by 3. So I'd get x equals plus or minus 2 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3, and where n is any integer. So I'll never forget that. So hopefully this helps out just the beginning stages of that. Try to consult investigations and get your cosine down.